Welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. In this episode, I have this question for us. Does Python's dictionary get slower as it gets bigger? The reason I asked this question is because in a previous video, linked to above and below, I asked the same question about Mojo, and I saw that Mojo's native dictionary type gets progressively slower uh, the more items you put into it. And in that previous video, I used the word exponential, and I appreciate the viewer at Julian U7's comment that the, my use of exponential is probably not correct. It's not correct. Um, but there's this scoop parabolic shape that shows that the more items you put into Mojo's dictionary, the slower it gets progressively so, meaning the slope of that curve gets slower and slower, gets steeper and steeper. Um, so the natural follow-up question I had is, well, what's happening with Python's dictionary? Does this happen with Python's dictionary? And that is a question I do not, did not know the answer to. So to that end, let's take a look at my Python code. Well, first, here's the Mojo code from that previous video. Again, I was simply um, timing, populating the dictionary with n number of words, starting with 100 words, and then 200 words, then 300 words, et cetera, all the way up until two and a half million words. So I translated this Mojo script that I wrote into Python, and here is my Python um, script. Let's take a look here. Let's zoom in a bit here. Uh, so it's a direct translation from my Mojo script linked to in the previous video. And um, here it is. It's the same, same type of logic. I read in a big bad boy TXT file that has 230 million words in it. And I have a little helper function to limit the number of words down to something smaller. Again, starting with 100 words, then 200 words, then 300 words, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, up until two and a half million words. And then the only thing I'm timing is populating the dictionary with n number of words, right? And then keeping track of that time and writing the timeout to a CSV file that I can plot up in R. And I let this run. It ran for, I don't know, maybe an hour or two. It was a lot quicker than Mojo's script, by the way. Um, and we can take a look at the results in a CSV file. Here is the CSV file of the Python times. Again, we're seeing a number of words increasing by hundreds, by 100 each time, the number of keys, the number of items in the dictionary, and the frequency of the, just to see that it's increasing as well. And here on the right-hand column, we have the seconds. And we're seeing, what is this? This is 2.59 something something to the negative five, which means you move that decimal point five spots to the left, right? And you end up with a decimal point, four zeros, and then two, five, nine, et cetera. So that is, what is it? that's about 26 microseconds or 26 millionths of a second. And then for number, for the second row there, for 200 words, that's running words or word tokens in corpus linguistic terminology, which gave us 109 keys, that is items in the dictionary. We had um, about 36 microseconds. You may or may not remember from the previous video that in Mojo, we had times of 191 microseconds for 66 uh, keys or 100 words. And we had a time of 204 microseconds where we're down to 36 microseconds here. Anyway, that was a take-home message. That's not the point of this video, but there is a previous video that I recorded in which I do show that Python's dictionary is faster than Mojo's native dictionary object at the time of recording that video, as well as right now. Um, but I will link to that video as well below. But the take-home message I wanna get across is, let's jump over to R, here's our old friend R. And um, if I run this, I'll just run it again for fun. And if I zoom in on this and bring it over to this screen, what do we see here? Let me not do that. Let's go about like this. We see again, we see this kind of parabolic scooped shape. I have a blue regression line in there just to, as a reference point to see that it is scooped meaning the more keys you put in or the more items you have in the dictionary, it takes progressively longer for the dictionary to populate, uh, be populated with the words, right? We see this parabolic um, kind of shape there. There's quite a few outliers up here that took longer, but the basic shape is this kind of parabolic scoop shape. 
which looks very much like what we saw in Mojo. We saw in Mojo that there is this parabolic scoop shape. And so there's the answer to our question. Yeah, it does get slower. It gets progressively slower. That is the slope here on this curve gets steeper and steeper or to be more specific, more accurate, the tangent on that curve gets steeper and steeper the farther to the right we go on this plot, meaning the more items we put into the dictionary. Um, and uh, like I said before, um, Python is much quicker at the current time um, than Mojo's native dictionary object, but that's, um, that's all right for now. So let's jump back to our question and answer it. Does Python's dictionary get slower as it gets bigger? Yes, it does progressively slow. I mean, this, this slope right here gets steeper and steeper the more items you put into the dictionary. So there you have it. We have uh, the same type of shape in Python and Mojo. Like I mentioned, Python is currently quicker. There you go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. I'm turning to a regular YouTuber here rather than professor. And anyway, we have a good day.